first look, we're coming to you from the legendary Groundlings Theater in Los Angeles, California to celebrate a monumental milestone in television history. Now, in 1975, a little show that wasn't quite ready for prime time hit the airwaves, and right away, people knew it was special. Over the span of 40 years, that show has entertained us, inspired us, and most importantly, it's made us laugh a lot. So tonight, we're honoring Saturday Night Live. It's the 40th season of SNL. The 40th, 40th season. season. We did it together. Yeah. The best description of Saturday Night Live, it's trying to make ourselves laugh and our friends laugh. <laughs> You're being so selfish, Gene. I think the success of uh, Saturday Night Live comes from uh, the format. You get music combined with comedy and pop culture. And I think that's why it's lasted so long. Now Taylor Swift is here. <laughs> What is it like to be part of the show's history? It's monumental. Good evening, my fellow Americans. It's been incredible that the show has remained relevant and really expanded. When you get on Saturday Night Live, you're in show business. Before that, really, you're not in show business. Please refrain from using ethnic slurs. <laughs> I always wanted to be on SNL, but to be on during the 40th anniversary is mind-bending. It feels like an incredible privilege. Yeah. I could not have imagined working here as a child. I mean, you worked here as a child, right? I swept the old. stage. No way! But beyond all of the elements that make SNL a hit year after year, there's one essential ingredient to the show's success. Lauren Michaels is a key. Lauren Michaels is beyond the cornerstone of, of the show. He conceived it, executed it. Hi. I'm Lauren Michaels, the producer of Saturday Night. He's got a pretty good eye for comedy. You have agents. You know where I can be reached. Just think about it, okay? Just a, a genius. Without Lauren Michaels, there would be no SNL. Did I say that right, Lauren? Yeah. Okay, good. When Saturday Night Live first came on, Lauren was, what, 30, 35? These were young lions. They were the angry youth. Can I have a sandwich, please? <laughs> people who had no, absolutely no experience in television at all. And to mature through that and to become a part of the establishment, yet still be smart enough to evolve and change, find those young voices and keep transitioning. You know, that's who it is. There are certain things that we do exactly the same as they did in 1975. Good evening, I'm Chevy Chase and you're not. And certain things that are always changing. Yeah. It's not just the actors on there and the music, it's, you know, everything that goes into it, from the set design, to the costumes, to the writing, to casting it. And a lot of times they're doing it in only two or three days. It's chaos, but it just works beautifully because you don't ever think that it's not gonna happen. It'll go down in history as probably one of the best comedy shows ever. 